So you're in a game, you just get on, and boom, your frames just dipped out of nowhere. And you have no idea what it is. Your PC didn't do anything different than yesterday. It's just lower frames out of nowhere. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to combat that to make sure that you guys have the highest frames possible with some secret tips of how to not only increase your frames, but maintain it as well. Because I think the maintenance part is probably the biggest part that nobody talks about here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to take a look at some programs that can help you in some secret tips and tricks just to get you covered on how to increase and maintain your frames all right so for the first major major tip that literally solves 30 to 40 percent of fps issues here is what is called ddu ddu is display driver uninstaller and what that does is it basically deletes your current display uh, driver that you have on your PC and it removes all the bloat uh, behind it and it puts on when you're done a clean slate so when you do install a new Nvidia or AMD driver for your graphics card it's a clean slate driver and that's going to increase your FPS there. So there's no bloatware in the back. There's no corrupted files. There's no and there's nothing messing with Windows. It's just a straight clean slate when it comes to your driver, which is really, really important. So I'm going to show you guys how to use DDU today. So basically, the first step is just going to the website. I'm going to link that down in the description here. And this is going to be the website for DDU. And what you do is you're just going to scroll down here and you are going to select whatever region you're in. Uh, I'm just going to select the region here and it should download automatically uh, without you having to do anything if you just wait a couple seconds. So what we're going to do, what I like to do personally is I like to create a folder here. And I like to put this within that folder. That way we can find st stuff really easy. So we don't have to worry about digging around trying to find it. Um, so now that that's in a folder here, I just named it DDU test. Uh, where are you? Where are you DDU test? There we go. Now that that's in a folder, what we do is open this up here and it's going to be a zip file and we're going to extract it. So once you extract it, you're going to see two options. You're going to see the DDU XE and you're going to see the Guru. So you're going to click on the DDU XE. You're going to extract it once more and you're going to get the actual DDU file. And this is the DDU file that actually matters that we're going to use. So that's going to be really important there. So that is perfect. And the next step that we're going to do is we're going to download or drivers here so if you are on nvidia i'm going to put the link down in the description you will download your driver from this website you're going to pick the kind of card that you have and then you're going to download whatever driver you like for call of duty i recommend 472.12 or 471.68 and that should be the highest fps drivers right there for amd you are going to go to amd drivers you are going to find whichever card that you have on here you're going to go through the selection and then you'll have a choice of which drivers to download now for me personally the october driver was really good so i really recommend that i tried in november i wasn't getting as high as fps so literally stick with the october one and that should give you really really high fps to the end of this so once you download your driver here you are going to download it to this folder here so i'm just going to copy and paste real quick a driver to this folder so that way this is going to make it easy for you to find a driver and use ddu at the same time so that's going to be really good here so once this is complete and you have this folder here this is an important part do not skip this part guys you are going to disconnect your ethernet driver from your pc the reason why you're doing this is just so windows doesn't automatically install any random graphics drivers or any random drivers while you're in safe mode so you definitely definitely do not want to skip disconnecting the ethernet 
disconnect the ethernet guys it's really important so now what we do from here since we have the folder here is we're going to hold shift and while you're holding shift you're going to go through the restart process here so i'm just going to click restart and you're going to see my screen pop up here so i'm going to click troubleshoot then you're going to click advance and then you're going to click on startup settings now when you click on startup settings it should automatically tell you do you want to restart this device and you're going to click restart once you click restart and it restarts you are going to load up safe mode by pressing four the number four on your keyboard and the only reason i'm not doing that now is just because you guys won't be able to see my screen so we're just going to pretend that i loaded up safe mode i press the number four and we're back in here what you're going to do is come into this ddu folder that we made right and then in this DDU folder, you're gonna click on this DDU V18 folder here, right? And after you click on that folder there, you're gonna click on display driver uninstaller and you're gonna click yes. Then you should see this pop up. Now this is the part where you gotta be really careful guys. So make sure you're paying attention here. So you're gonna press okay. You're just gonna close this out here. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna select the device type. So I have an AMD card, so it's gonna show me an AMD. So that is perfectly fine. If you have an NVIDIA card, this should pop up NVIDIA and that will be fine as well. Then what you're gonna do is you are going to clean and restart. Do not click these other two, only press clean and restart guys and just let the computer do its thing for about five minutes the computer is just going to automatically remove your drivers it's going to take out all that bloat and all that latency and it's going to make sure that your computer is on a clean slate when it comes to graphics drivers here so once you clean and restart and you load back up your computer it should load back up in regular mode and this is why i told you guys to download the driver in the same folder here so you would go back to the same folder and you would download your nvidia driver or your um your amd driver from this folder so you just go through the download make sure all of that is perfect and you should be completely fine when it comes to that and what this does is it's it's resets everything regarding your display and it's going to reset everything in regards to your gaming and everything like that so that's going to be perfect right there so that's just like a almost like a hard reset when it comes to your fps right there uh which is what i like so the other thing that i wanted to talk to you guys about just to make sure your fps stays the same uh even though you're gaming and stuff like that is a little google hack i figured out here so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go go on google chrome if you do use google chrome and then you're going to want to go to settings so once you are in settings you should see where it says advanced and you're going to drop down on there then you're going to click on systems now on google chrome what it likes to do it likes to run in the background and we don't really want things to run in the background guys so we are going to disable continue running background apps when chrome, google chrome is closed and what this does is when you don't have google chrome open it's not going to run in the background and you're going to maintain that high fps that you usually get and it won't affect you whatsoever so that should be perfectly fine as well so now that we got that taken care of the next step to do is basically uninstall any kind of app that is related or in regards to armory crates iq uh iq is actually pretty decent you don't have to uninstall that if you don't want to nzxt cam msi dragon center you don't want these motherboard apps running in the background all the time they take up a lot of resources for no reason they mess with your network configuration causing stutters in your game you just want to uninstall these guys and just make sure that your pc is in the cleanest form it is 
possible. You, I know, I know you love your RGB, but we got to make sacrifices because we're loyal to the frame. I'm telling you guys, this actually makes a crazy difference, especially MSI after uh, MSI Dragon Center. Now, the next tip, this isn't a necessity, but what you can do is you can download. No, I mean, you can go to system configuration and in system configuration what you can do is you could click on where it says hide all microsoft services so you don't disable anything that you're not supposed to and you can go through and disable these automatically um these automatic programs that run in the background that most of you don't even need like running in the background all the time so for example for me i had argus monitor control center uh, running in the background and I barely use that program so I unchecked it here so anything that you barely use or don't use at all you want to uncheck here and you want to hit apply and restart your PC so what this does is it get gets rid of tons of background processes along with the startups if you go to task manager and you go to startup here Along with the startups, it gets rid of tons of background processes that boosts your FPS because your computer doesn't have to cooperate with them. So that's going to be another FPS booster right there. How many are we going to go through today? Holy moly. It's, we're, we're on fire today, boys. Holy moly. So the next thing, and this is not a necessity. This is only if you want to. For stability, you can download a program called ISCL. So what ISCL is, is Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. So basically what that means in short term is it cleans your memory out. Um, so what you're going to do with this is you're going to open it here. And you are going to make sure it runs on startup and launches on startup as well. You are going to enable custom timer resolution and you're going to set this custom timer resolution to 0 0.5 that way it's as fast as possible and then for the frame memory lower than you are going to set this to half of whatever your memory is so let's say i have 32 gigabytes so for me i want to keep this on 16 384 because that's around half of what I get um, for my memory. So that's gonna be pretty good as well. And that's gonna make sure that nothing's taking up all that memory in the background. So your game's processing um, your display as fast as possible with the least stutters and the least latency possible. This is not really a FPS booster, guys. This is just more for system stability and just system latency. And if you have all of those tips down pack and you did everything that I say, I can almost guarantee you guys that your FPS will boost at least by 10 FPS. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you want to get more FPS boosting tips, check out my next video right here. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.